Hi everybody. Hi Kate. How are you doing? Um, I I was gone for a few days and off the internet. Thank goodness. Um, as soon as I'm back on the internet, the horror starts coming back, and I'm dealing with horror stories that are beyond my capability of dealing with. Anyway, um, my husband just sent me the CARE2 petition in regards to Puppy Doe, um, the little pit bull mix girl that was tortured so badly that they had to euthanize her. And uh, the guy was caught, and um, I appreciate the work that the sheriffs did and the police department, and I forgot now where that was, but um, somebody also in the legislation who moved this ahead in, in the investigation for this brutal murder and it turned out he's an illegal immigrant from Poland. They showed the picture and um, it is absolutely abhorrent of the facial expression of this man. It's, uh, it's, it's the ultimate unempowerment that there is. It's like it's a combination of that's what Dr. Adrian Rain is talking about in his research. He's doing brain scans on violent criminals and he found out that it's a combination of um, often a very damaged prefrontal cortex as well as uh, shriveled down amygdala. Amygdala stands for compassion, high compassion, and information from from the emotional parts of the brain, the emotion center, and um, that seems to be completely broken in a lot of people, and particularly sadistic people like this guy, and um, and also. This is another part, this uh, unempowerment that I have been talking about in my videos and that I'm trying to spread the message that people need to empower themselves as much as they possibly can. Um, it is absolutely critical to stay away from people who are, um, who are putting us down. So, you know, I want, what I want for the world is, for the world of humans is to that people empower themselves because when they when they can empower themselves from the inside out then they don't then then there is no more need to be treading down on um on a on an individual that is below them in in strength you know there's a lot of people who they don't think about it at all what they're doing they they just let out this frustration on and this hatred on other individuals that that can't defend themselves animals and children and and girlfriends often that they'll they will never match these guys uh physical strength of course and um they let it out uh often in domestic violence out of anger but sometimes it's sadistic behavior and sadistic behavior is yet something else other than aggression it's um it's a form of aggression of course and it's probably playing out in similar regions of the brain but i think sadistic behavior is um is even more complex than aggression like like these spontaneous aggressive acts out of rage um, sadistic behavior like what this guy did that's like um that's like i think it i've been trying my whole life to understand what makes people do this and 
And I just read part of this, which I originally didn't want to do, like two weeks ago uh, when this was circulating. I just signed it real quick. I didn't want to read it, the details. This time I um, quickly went through. I was looking for the petition, and there it caught my eye what he did. You know, it's just, it's, I couldn't, I couldn't avoid it. I, I saw it. You know. And so what he did is he, he did, uh, he stretched the dog out of alignment over and over again for years or something like this and and did other horrible things starved the dog periodically and did other terrible things to her and um and i just i just lost it again just had another nervous breakdown over it and i'm just um so I keep telling my husband, I'm just not fit for this, you know, for this this type of world that we live in. You know, I just uh, don't know. You know, sometimes I'm at the very edge of bleeping away. You know, I, I'm just, I always feel like I'm, I'm at that very brink, you know, where I feel like, uh, can I continue this, you know, or... Or can I just not take it anymore? You know, I don't know what to do. Uh, lately, I've been trying to protect myself from harm uh, of any sort. I, I'm staying away from people. I'm um, staying away from conversation, if possible. And um, it's um, it's just too it gets it gets just too much. You know, I have to protect myself. Uh, this is um, not everybody is um, hurting me. Most people are um, a threat to me, to my mental state that uh, that I'm in, and um, I, I I'm sorry about that. You know, so um, there's only maybe less than a handful of people who I can talk to uh, that I know of at this moment in my life that I can talk to who I do not feel threatened by. And one of them is Kate and my husband. And, and um, another friend of mine, Donna. And um, everybody else right now, I just, um, I, I can't handle it very well. You know, I just, it gets too much. You know, I have to protect myself. I have to regain balance. You know, I don't want to. Um, I I need to be careful with the petitions. I need to be careful with that stuff that I'm reading. I just um, I just can't, can't. I can't handle it. I'm not tough. I'm not, absolutely not tough in this way. But I told my husband that um, in order for me to sign it, he has to send it to me. So you know, we have to sign it and. We have to do anything we can to get people like him behind bars. And um, as far as I heard, that the maximum that he can get is five years in prison. Um, I um, I'm sorry to say it, but um, but people people like this should be euthanized and um, um, I don't know what else to do, you know, I, I don't know, uh, uh, I don't know if there's a healing that can happen. I don't think that a healing can happen in, in short enough time. You know? So um, they put a lot of dogs to sleep. They should put a lot of people to sleep too, to make, to make this place here on planet Earth safer for all of us. And they put dogs to sleep be for no reason because they are overcrowding the animal shelters. They put all dogs to sleep that are aggressive. They put them to sleep immediately because they know they can't adopt them out. They give the other ones a chance of a week or so or two, sometimes more. But eventually, many, most of them are being euthanized. But humans aren't euthanized. That's uh, that, that. That will take years of uh, 
of an elaborate uh, jurisdiction system and, and work of judges and jurors and lawyers and defense attorneys until this person finally gets gets to put be put to rest for good you know, for his own good but um but all of this is this is all because of of an outdated world view that we still carry and even in germany that's still carried over from christianity although christianity has tapered out in europe uh, for the most part people are have are still in this atav atavism of slave morality that is carried over from christianity slave morality of hold the other cheek uh, oh we we gotta be good we gotta be gentle but they're not gentle on the animals so why are they gentle on humans it doesn't make any sense be gentle on 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 brutal sadistic people it doesn't help the world it doesn't help anybody it doesn't help any of us we got we got to straighten out this needs to be straightened out our legal systems need to be straightened out in this regard but anyway i just i hope the video doesn't cut off now because i'm doing a direct upload and it, it usually cuts off when i do those but anyway i'm gonna not talk anymore just want to ask everybody to go on care to find this petition um I think it's called um, uh, uh, Papi Doe. It's like John Doe, you know, when they don't know the name. Papi Doe, D-O-E, -D um, Papi Doe, and then uh, bring the bring the criminal behind bars, something like this. So you will find it if you put in Papi Doe on Google and care, you put care to and then puppy doe and this thing will come up, the, the very first link. You click that, you go on care to, you read the story and you sign that petition underneath. It uh, shows the picture of the dog when, when he was found. He, she was found, it's a girl. Uh, somebody found her on the street and she was dying uh, but wasn't dead yet and they had to put the dog finally put the put the dog to sleep because the dog was beyond repair and was just suffering horrifically and there's a picture of the dog battered so um yeah we i can't we have to look at it we have to look at it no matter how faint hearted we are you know we have to look at it if we don't look at it if we if if we ignore it if we say oh i got to protect myself you know look at me i am falling apart and there are other people that are not as affected we can do it we can look at this we can do it we can take the responsibility we can sign this we can get this done if everybody stands up we can get this done thank you